So in this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a very cost effective Minecraft server on Linode. So the very first step is getting started with Linode. Basically you need a Linode account. So either click the link in the description box or go to this website which is linode.com and from here you can simply sign up for a free $100 credit. After that, log into your account and after logging into your account, you would be taken to this page where you can simply create a new Linode. So simply click on create Linode. Now from here, we only want to deploy a Minecraft specific server. So for that, simply click on marketplace and then choose Minecraft Java edition. By the way, this is the latest edition of Minecraft. After that, you need to scroll down and here you can see the world settings for the Minecraft server. The very first thing is the username for the Linode's non-root admin. So I'm going to call it Minecraft user. So now it is asking us for the password, which is entirely up to you. And then from here, the configuration of the world begins. So it is asking us for the world name. So I'm going to call it Minecraft on Linode. After that, you have the message of the day and then some other settings such as flight enabled. I'm going to set it to false. By the way, Linode comes with the most available options for Minecraft server when it comes to VPS deployed Minecraft servers. And then we have the netherworld and then player achievement, maximum number of players, players idle timeout limit, you can set it to whatever you want. And then the difficulty level of the world. And then there's this option where you can enable the hardcore mode. Well, if you're a fan of Minecraft, you would know that hardcore means that if you die, you cannot respawn the games over. And then we have PVP enabled, force game mode enabled, and then we have the world type. We can go with the default world type or we can go with the amplified, flat or legacy world type. And then we have this option which is the world seed. Suppose that you want to generate a very specific world or you have a world on your LAN and you want to duplicate that world onto the Linode VPS service. Then simply copy the seed from that LAN world to this input box and you would get the same generated world. Then you have other settings as spawn animals, spawn monsters, spawn NPCs and then we have the game mode. So this is very crucial for a Minecraft player, either if you want to go with the survival game mode, creative, adventure or spectator. And then you have the maximum build height and maximum world size. And then you have the view distance. After that, we have some things like command block, query enabling and enable recon. And to enable reconnecting, you can set up a password as well. You can set up a port as well and a maximum tick time. Coming to the end, we have the op permission level. Basically, this is the permission level that would be granted to the user when they run the op command and then the port number. After that, scroll down. The main thing is this is the image or this is the operating system that would be installed on your VPS service. And here is a very crucial step deploying your VPS or deploying your virtual machine on a specific region. You need to make sure to choose a region that is physically closest to you. After that, you come to your Linode plan. So basically it all depends upon the number of players you wish to have on your Minecraft server. So a good approach is having two gigabytes of RAM for every 15 players. And just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm simply going to go with the Nanode, which is the one gigabyte RAM version. But if you want to go with, let's say 30 players or 45 players, then you would have to opt in for either four gigabytes of Linode or eight gigabytes of Linode. After that, simply scroll down give your Linode a specific name. So I'm just going to leave it as it is or I can just simply change it to Minecraft server and then you can give it some tags as well. After that, you have this root password. This is the password that you would be using when you're trying to connect to the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. And then if you want to connect to the SSH terminal using the SSH keys, then here is the option to add the SSH keys. But these are not necessary for the deployment of Minecraft servers and the same goes for a VLAN. After that, you can either option in for a backup or a private IP. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to option in for all of those settings. I'm just simply going to click on create Linode. After that, you can see that my Linode is currently provisioning. So simply wait for a little while for the provisioning process to complete. As you can see that the provisioning is complete and my Linode is currently running. So now I can switch to my Minecraft application. But before doing so, make sure to copy the IP address of your Linode. And then from within the Minecraft, simply click on multiplayer and then click on this option that says add server. And then for the server name, I'm going to change it to Microsoft Linode. And for the server address, simply paste in the IP address that you have copied and hit done. And after that, you can see that my Minecraft server is up and running. 
and if in case you get an error message over the signal that means that your minecraft server is still currently being deployed on your linode that is because a newly created linode takes about 10 to 15 minutes for minecraft to deploy so simply wait for 10 or 15 minutes and then simply click on the server and click on join now so now as you can see now we are logged into our minecraft world so that brings us to the end of this video on how to set a minecraft server on linode